This is cotton before harvest. I'm holding the bull and you've got every stage of maturity from after it starts to become a big yep. plant till then. Talk to me, Brian. Yep, so cotton, um, cotton oddly enough for viewers, I guess that are outside of cotton country, cotton's actually a perennial. It's a tree by nature, manages an annual every year. Long story that we can go into later, but the marketable fruit, obviously Damien's holding is a bowl. And at the end of the year, when that's mature, it will break open and you'll get that dry fiber. You have to do that with hormone and chemical to get it there. Again, it's perennial, managed as an annual, and that's how you get it there. But it starts with what's called a square. And it's the most poorly named fruiting structure ever because it's, a square. A, it's not a square, it's a triangular prism. Um, but you start and you open it up. Damien, you can open that one up and see what it looks like. At the bottom and of it. you see that very immature flower inside that is those bracts. Essentially what becomes this. Uh, it will give rise to that. So once you get past that, what we call a square, that immature flower will eventually turn into a white flower. Once that white flower emerges, 24 hours, it'll pollinate, become a pink flower. Okay. All right, at that point it's been pollinated. After that, you'll see it die off into what we call a bloom tag. It'll just fall right off. And then as you open that up, you've got the the very beginnings of that right there so, so that is kind of the progression of what the fruit comes it becomes a like. bull and you talk about the number of locks which is these yep. little things on here this almost yep. looks like it could be a, an almond or something like that yep. it opens up and then this plant which is almost like a tree as you said brian will dry down and by october october in this part of the world october uh, here in west central tennessee this will dry down to look like a bunch of twigs or almost small yep. trees yep. with a bunch of cotton uh, white fiber cotton on them and then the cotton machine comes through and harvests them. Absolutely. It's first of August right now when we're doing this and they're harvesting right now in the coastal bend of Texas. Yeah, so we'll be another almost two months yep. out to harvest this yep. because obviously this is still a green tree and then yep. uh, roughly how many pounds of cotton we gonna get out of here? How many pairs of jeans? I don't know how many pairs of jeans but 12 to 1500 pounds of cotton is, uh, you know, 1200 is probably the average around here. So 1200 oh. pounds of cotton comes off of every acre and uh, let's call it about, about a pound and a half per pair of jeans. So we'll call that 800 pair of jeans yep. off of this right here. Yep. Now you know a little bit about the reproduction that starts as a seed, grows into a plant, produces all the stuff that Brian showed you, becomes a bull, this opens up, cotton is there. And that's when it starts looking like a whole bunch of small trees that are dead with just a bunch of cotton on them. And then it becomes your jeans.